Hey guys, here's my video I made of my OSMC or XBMC build with the LED lights in the back of the TV. It's pretty simple. There's the wiring. One wire was plugged in and it powered the Pi and also it powered the LEDs. Originally I started off with a 5 volt, 5 amp or 4 amp, I can't remember power source and this worked out good for me pretty good later I installed a additional sound card and I had to work out two separate power sources for each one of them because when I tried to power the Pi off of the sound card I think it's MX600 or X600 there you see it is it's right there when I tried to power the Pi off of that with just two jumpers from that from this card to the other card it would not light up the LEDs properly and I could not figure it out so I just did two separate power supplies and this is me running through the code and installing Hyperion and upgrading and updating everything with OSMC uh, it's a pretty long drawn out video you can feel free to skip forward if you need to uh, and included all this just in case anybody's having any problems, they could kind of see what they were getting stuck on or why something happened. For me, when I was doing this on my laptop, I kept coming to a yes or no question and it would freeze up when I hit yes, nothing would happen. And after looking through another blog, I found a guy who said that it worked for him by downloading Putty or Pooty, however you want to say it, on his tablet and his phone and doing it from there so I did that and I didn't have any problems afterwards and it worked flawlessly that's why the majority of these videos here or these screen captures are from my tablet and then I'm just going through you know highlighting the installation step by step as it is on their wiki copying pasting it hitting enter and just letting it go uh, let's see, I'm going to skip forward a little bit here. I'm going to talk. I'm going to talk quicker so you can watch these without me rambling. Uh, so it's going through everything. You can see how it's updating. I'm scanning ahead on my laptop while I'm talking into the microphone. Then I go into the app, the application that you can download on your phone and control it, which is pretty cool. You can set up some really cool stuff with that. If you just want your TV to glow and make different colors in the background, some ambient lighting. Uh, then I go into how to get your Hyperion configuration file to your Raspberry Pi through Win SP, or excuse me, Win SCP which is pretty easy. I was having a lot of problems with the configuration generator uh, file that uh, you can get off their wiki page. And I could tell it how many LEDs I had and where they were at and everything. And it would generate a file, but it would not run that file for some reason. I don't know why it wouldn't. I'm not an expert coder or anything like that. So I found another guy who posted his and he had 50 LEDs so I just plugged it into my OSMC configuration file and rebooted and it lit up half my strip and I'm running 96 LEDs so it worked so then I used the configuration JavaScript program that you can get from the Hyperion wiki page and I generated a file and then I cut out of that file that it created through a text editor the from number one LED all the way to last or zero I guess would be the first one all the way to 95 cut that out and replaced his 50 and saved it and then rebooted and it lit all 50 of them up since then I have not had any problems I've got a running file that I keep and I update. Um, 
I've done the smoothing. You don't have to do the smoothing, but if you do, I got mine around, I think, 80 milliseconds. It works pretty good. There's not a, there's not a lot of flashes, and it kind of smooths into the next scene when the TV flashes from one scene to another. Um, what else did I change? I changed the boot screen. So when OSMC boots up, there's like a spiral rainbow that goes around. I changed changed mine to like uh, 80,000 milliseconds, so as it runs for about 80 seconds. And by the time it's done spiraling with the rainbow, it's already, OSMC is already finished looking at my files and scanning everything, making sure I got new TV shows and it's all updated and everything. Let's see what else. Uh, after that is, I go through using the app and show you how to use the app a little bit, how it can work and close up shots. And then after that, there's a video I made and I'll let that run for a little bit just so you can kind of get an idea how it works and the, the feeling of sitting on the couch and seeing it. It's pretty good stuff. I really enjoy it. It's really made my TV watching much more interesting. Uh, I can't think of anything else to add to the video right now. I put a pretty good amount of effort into making this video for everybody. I hope everybody enjoys it and gets something out of it. Um, I can't think of anything else. Uh, enjoy the rest of the video. I'll stop talking. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or ask me something. I'll do my best to get back to you. Uh, thanks again.